Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm doing my plan to ban project for 2024. So on this intro, I'm showing you 30 products that I want to finish on 2024 on different project pans. So this is not going to be a project pan per se. This is just going to be me showing you the 30 products that I want to finish during this year. But my goal is to finish at least 24 in 2024. I chose 30 because I want to just make it more fun and being able to rotate products. And a few of them, I know they're going to be easier goals to reach. So I wanted to have variety variety and things that I could put in different project pans that I'm doing this year. If you want to see the 30 products that I chose to finish during 2024, then just keep on watching. Um, this is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Oil Free. I reached for this a ton last year. This is going practically right here. I know there's a lot more than what you could think um, with a mini. But I love this primer and I think it's one that can be out of my collection. I want to have on my collection like four primers that I am obsessed with. And then also since I have a replacement for this one. And this is an easier goal to reach. I picked the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Fluorine Primer. I love this one you guys. It's one that is easy for me to reach. I've reached for it throughout a couple years now. But it comes with so much product. And now it's about right there where the line is. For foundation, I have here a hefty goal. I have one that it's probably the, gonna be the easiest one, but it's not my color and it's a little bit too dark for me. So I know it's gonna take me a while. This has been also in a project pan of mine. This is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Oil Free Natural Skin Perfector. And this is in the shade 3W1 Bisque. I've been working on it so much and I also have a backup of it. I just want to be able to say that I finished one and then keep focusing on the rest of my foundation collection that I still have a ton to go through. Right now, this is not hay panning, but it's also not a ton of my favorites, the ones that I'm going to show you. I love this one, it's just that this is not the right shade for me. And the backup that I have is the same shade. This one, again, not the right shade for me anymore. I don't know why. When I first got it, it used to almost match me perfectly. So this is one that I'm going to mi be mixing with this one. This, I love the consistency of it. I love the finish of it. I love everything about it except the shade and this is the Purito Sika Clearing BB Cream in the shade 23 Natural Beige. I think this matches me almost perfectly but sometimes it will make me look extremely pink. I've loved this for years and years but I know it's time for it to just leave my collection and I think it's doable for me if I start to mix it with this one to finish them. This is gonna be a foundation that I'll be using when I'm gonna go out and I have to see how I feel about it but I have two of them because when it was released I fell into the hype of a few different videos that I watched and people were loving it and I said to myself I want to have the perfect shape for me so why not get two. I regret that now because I prefer to have only one and try just one and see how it goes. This is the Huda Beauty in the shade 220N and this is a little bit darker on me but it still works. I'm gonna show the amount that I have left but that way I can just keep one of these foundations and finish one and I think stick foundations in a way are easier but since I'm not that in love with it because it doesn't hold my oils I will use it throughout the year and hopefully it will be done. This is the Merit Foundation and these I decluttered one shade before but this is the shade Silk. I used to have I think it was also Bisque or something like that but it was too dark for me. They sent me a different shade over a year ago and I haven't been using it and I need to finish this. I know this comes with less product than the rest of the foundations that I showed you and my plan for all of these is to mix them together for an everyday foundation to film videos and whatnot and that way to be able to finish them. The Mary foundation is not my favorite product from Merit. This doesn't work for my oily skin and I have to be mindful of that when I'm getting new products into my collection. And I'm not uh, just a dab here, dab there and just blend it and look uh, too too fresh. I love a glam 
daily look. For powders, I decided to go for the Banana Pie from Graftobian, and that's one that I can only use when I'm tan or when I want my foundation to not look too pink because it has a, a yellow hue, but it's a little bit darker on me. I think I can pull that off. So I'm hoping that I can finish it because it doesn't have that much left. It's a ton when it comes to the fact that it doesn't, that it's not my right shade, but it's not a powder that it's completely full. For the Shallow Tilbury powder, I have a huge pan in it and I've had this in different project pans. And the truth is that one of the products that I think I'm going to be purchasing this year, if I make up my mind about it, is to have this powder in the shade Fair because that will match me better and that will be an easier powder for me to go through, to use every day, to just enjoy because I love this powder so much but it doesn't truly match me unless I'm super tan. Then for this one, this is a foundation, um, a powder foundation, but I just wanted to show it to you guys because I'm going to use it as a setting powder to finish it. I'm not gonna be buying pressed powders that much because I only love the Charlotte Tilbury one. This is the KBD Locket Powder Foundation in the shade Light 130. And this has a little bit of usage because I've used it from time to time on my under eyes. It's not my favorite because it's still too, um, a little bit too cakey to put on top of foundation, but I'm gonna use it anyways to clean up my blush and my contour and sometimes to set my under eye. I'm gonna make sure that I reach for it. I have another shade of it as well because Kristen Dominique mentioned it and this has been a favorite of mine, but I've noticed that it doesn't work the same every time I use it. So for face palettes, and this doesn't mean that all of these are gonna be on my Panda Face Palette project, but maybe they will be. This I think is gonna be the main palette for that project. This is the Hourglass Elephant Palette, but if it's not on that project as the main palette, at some point it will be part of the project, even as the secondary palette. This palette I've used so much. I used it last year for over a month and I keep using it. I used it today to buff my makeup. I used a little bit of the blush on my cheeks. I used a little bit of the bronzer to top the cream bronzer that I was using. It's something that since I started reaching for it, you can see that I've hit side pan on this product right here. I just can't stop. I start to pull it back out and reach for it more and more and more. And then this one, I wanna finish the two cream products that it comes with. So this is the Kevin O'Quan, the Contour Book Volume 2, and I finished, I think, Volume 1, the first one that it was released on a Panda Face Palette project. This comes with so many products. Two creams, two powders for contour and highlighting, and then these highlighting shades and these two bronzy shades. You can use them on your eyes, on your face, and whatnot. But my main goal since uh, last month I heat pan on the contour shade, the cream contour shade, is to finish these two creams, the highlighter and the contour, and then maybe I could depot these and add it to my makeup artistry kit. And I know that when I'm reaching for these two, I'll be reaching for the rest of the palette. Hopefully as a side goal, that is not the main goal for this project, I'll be able to hit pan in a few of these, this inner corner highlight type of shades. But my main goal is to finish these two before they go bad because they're still working, but they could go bad quicker. And then one that I want to remove from my collection, even though this will take me a while, is the Natasha Denona Tan Bronze and Glow Palette. And you probably already saw the finale for this project. So you know that I have a mixture of a Too Faced blush and a highlighter that came within this palette here because I wanted to make the shade more wearable and I have kept using it and using it and I know that I can reach that goal. But then I also heat pan on the highlighter and I wanna make sure that throughout the year this is gonna be the highlighter that I'm gonna pan because highlighter is super hard to pan, you guys, and I have to declutter at least five of the highlighters that I have in my huge highlighter collection since I always like to bring one or two highlighters into my collection a year. So the fact that I like to bring one or two makes me want to finish at least another highlighter since last year I finished the one from the Hourglass palette that I was using. It's gonna be the highlighter that I'll be focusing on the most during the year to see if I can finish it. I can put it on my makeup artistry kit when I have clients right here because I'm not carrying these on my kit when I'm doing 
doing house calls. I just want to use it when I have people coming over to my studio. For bronzer, I chose three bronzers. And the first one is the Laura Mercier Matte Bronzing Powder in the shade Soleil One. And this is an easier product to reach my goal on because it's one of my favorites in my entire collection and it already has pan in it. I, I love it. I just want to put something in here that I love because powder products, color uh, powders, like blushes, highlighters, and bronzers are hard to finish when you have so many and you have to focus on them. At least you have to pick one that you love. So I picked three that I love for different reasons. It's gonna be my main matte bronzer that I will use on an everyday basis. I will put it on my everyday makeup bag. And I always rotate, so it's not gonna be the only bronzer that I will use. And I will have other bronzers in my Panda Face Palette project. I love to shop my stash, but I just wanna finish this one because I think this is not even available anymore. And it's one of my favorites. Every time I'm gonna look for it to link it, when I mention it, it's super hard for me to find it. And this is the Too Faced Sweetheart Bronzer in the shade Sweet Tea. And this has been a favorite for ages. I'm wearing this one today mixed with a little bit of another one that I'm gonna show you. And this I've been using for the past couple days. And this has a dip in it. It used to be rounded. Not that deep, you guys. But this is super bulky. So it takes a lot of room in my collection. I love the packaging. I love the fact that it's a heart. And I love the product inside of it. But I'm always thinking that I'm not going to be able to repurchase it. That I wouldn't repurchase it anyway. Because I have so many browsers that I need to go through. I just decided to pull this one in. And just use it as an everyday browser. When I'm super light, I can use the lighter shade. I'm a little bit darker. I can mix them both. I could use it as a blush, as a neutral blush. I just adore this formula. And then I have the Sayen Bronze Balm from Merit. And this is the bronzer that I'm wearing underneath my powder bronzer. And this is what I have left of this one. I have a, another shade, a lighter shade from this one. But this I used so much last year that I had to make myself stop to finish the makeup by Mario One, the skin enhancer, which I repurchased, you guys. So that tells you that I'm going through cream bronzers. I finished two cream bronzers last year. One of the goals that I have is to finish this one that I love so much. Since I have another one, I want to be able to finish at least one and just keep one in my collection. Another goal that I have that I don't know if it's going to be a realistic goal, but I'm going to do my best, is to at least least heat pan or try to finish or make progress on these four blushes. This is the blush Harmony from Tarte and this is a mini. I've gone through I think two minis in the past. I have about five more minis and I'm hoping that I can start to use them up since they are older in my collection and I think it's more doable for me to keep adding minis to project pans than to focus on a big pan that it's just too hard to finish you guys i have so much blush and i'm thinking about doing a blush project this year for me to just focus on one blush a big pan of a blush and to finish it is the hardest goal of them all since blush is my favorite product in my collection and this is one that i want to finish completely and i think it's doable since like I said, it's a mini. These I put in past project pans and I love this blush. But now I'm obsessed with the Laura Mercier blushes and the Rare Beauty blushes over any other cream blushes. Also the Makeup by Mario blushes. This is one of those that I only have one of them. And that now that I have those other blushes, it feels a little bit more sticky uh, to the touch and more sticky to the skin. And then it doesn't give me enough payoff to just set it with powder afterwards. So I love the finish. I love this product. I love the scent of it. I've recommended it throughout the years, but I think it's time for it to go. And this is the Seattle London Dewy Blush in the shade Coconut. I love this, you guys. I love this. I purchased it because I adored it. I think it's time for it to go. This one it used to be an easy product for me. And this is a newer blush in my collection, but this is... It's about a year old or a year and a half old. This is the NARS Orgasm Mini Blush. I've gone through Orgasm at least, I think I've gone through three of them. Throughout the years, this was the first high-end blush that I purchased. And I decided to repurchase it in a mini because this used to be my go-to blush. When I didn't know what else to wear, I would wear Orgasm. Since this is a mini, I thought it was a good idea for me to start using it and working on it. After I purchased it, I've used it about 10 times, but I haven't used it as much as I thought I was gonna. 
and it's not because I don't love it it's just that I love to switch up my blush and I just love this one so I think I think it's the year to heat pan on it at least to heat pan on it but putting it on this project will help me just set my mind to using it even in conjunction with other blushes and then another merry blush that I love and that I put in project pants and that you can see that it's flat and that I can use easier than any other cream blushes and these goes bad super quickly the merry products go bad super quickly even though this one says 24 months I think this is gonna have its second birthday this year so I'm hoping for it to be done before it goes bad it's so beautiful this is the cheek color in the shade terracotta by merit and i think it's doable you guys i think it's doable for me to finish these products if i set my mind to it i'm ready to part with this palette so whatever i don't use this year i will just move on from it this was a palette that i wore on my wedding day and it had a special place in my heart but it doesn't anymore it doesn't hold that place uh, anymore. I don't want to reach for it. I took it on a trip with me last year and it was good to use it It's an easier palette, but it's older in my collection and I just don't feel like reaching for it Instead of the other new palettes that I have and this is the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita I think the new name for this one is the Bella Sofia. I want to finish all of the palettes But if I can't I'm gonna always leave it in my desk if I can finish it, at least I want to make more progress. And you can see that this has been loved throughout the years. I've hit pan in the four shades that it comes with. I know that I can finish this primer shade for sure. And then of course this uh, smoke shade and maybe this one. I think this is going to be the hardest one because I'm not using anything that's super reddish nowadays. For concealer, I forgot to mention the concealer that I chose is the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This was a gift from my friend Janet. And what I love about this one is that even though I don't like it that much, it's a lighter concealer. So it can work for me when I'm using darker foundations, which I have a ton in my collection. For eyeliners, I'm hoping that I finish more than this, but I decided to go on a no-buy when it comes to black eyeliner or any color eyeliner, unless it's a replacement. I always use black eyeliner, but I have about four or five of them, and I think I need to go through them before repurchasing even my Rimmel Scandal Eyes. So I decided to finish the Morphe Dark Room Eyeliner. It's one that I'm wearing right now, but it doesn't work on my waterline. And I just want to... Um, make room for better black eyeliners in my routine. This is the Urban Decay Glide On Eye Pencil in the shade Ether. I'm wearing it today on my lower waterline, so it gives me a hint of uh, purple, but it's a darker purple with hints of shimmer, pink shimmer, and it's pretty, you guys. I think I can go through this one. It will take me forever, but I can go through it. And then when it comes to lip products, I chose Two lip liners, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in the shade Ozone. I think I got this on PR or something, or I don't remember, but this I wouldn't purchase for myself. This is a clear lip liner, so I'm swatching it, but it's completely clear. I used it today to apply a nude lipstick that I was wearing at the beginning of the day. I just, I'm gonna use it and pretend that it works, but this is something that I think it's a little bit gimmicky unless you wear bright colors and you need a lip liner that's a universal shade and then i have here the laura mercier plumberry longwear lip liner and these i love you guys these i use for my to fill in my lips today in the morning when i was applying the nude product on top so this is what i would use as a lip liner for an everyday color it doesn't have that much left, but lip liner takes forever for me to finish. And for lip products, I chose four that are everyday lippies for me, and then one that is a liquid lipstick that I need to finish. So the first one is the Buxom Plum Shot in the shade Flush. I've been using this and using this and using this, and it still doesn't wanna go. It has a little bit left, but every time I use it and I apply it on my lips, it's still going strong, it's not like I feel like it's gonna be done any minute, but I still get product out of it. And I love the feel of this one, but I have another shade that I love more, and I have a clear shade. 
So I just want to make sure to finish this one and to finish a couple minis from Too Faced as well that I have that are lip plumpers that I love so much. Then these I thought I was going to finish last year, like the Buxom one. This is the Bare Minerals Mineralist Lip Gloss Balm and these I recommended it to my image consulting client that had me uh, put together for her a shopping list for makeup essentials. This is an essential for me. It's the lip that I'm wearing right now underneath this one. Last year I used it every single day for the entire year except for a few trips that I went without it. All I have left is this and what I have within the walls of the lip gloss balm. This is so comfortable on the lips and I'm positive that I will repurchase a shade when I get to finish all of the daily lippies that I have. When I have about four I can repurchase two or three because those are the lip products that I wear on a daily basis. This one I don't like and I purchased it last year. This is the Makeup by Mario in the shade Pink Glow and I thought this was going to be one of those products that since I love the Givenchy Le Rouge Perfecto or Le Rose Perfecto in Perfect Pink, this would be wonderful. You guys, this is so sticky. It's not my thing. It's not my thing. I've seen people raving about this and I don't see the hype and I love Mario. But I don't see the hype with this product. My lips look super pale when I'm wearing this. It doesn't give me the hint of pink that I was expecting it to, expecting for it to give me. If it would, I still wouldn't like the consistency, but I would have finished it for sure. So these, I just want to finish it and remove it from my collection. And I don't think I will be repurchasing Makeup by Mario Moisture, Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serums. They're just not for me, you guys. And then this one, I used it a couple times this year, more than a couple times. And I just want to be able to finish it. That way I can cut my um, everyday lippies in more than half. Since last year, I've used quite a bit. I think I used last year about four or five of them. So I want to just keep doing that and then have five that I'm obsessed with and then keep rotating them. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the shade Dolce Vita. And even though you can make this more uh, like a stronger lip, you can also use the tiniest amount and blot it. And that's the way that I love to use it on my lips. So I sharpen it when I need to sharpen it. I don't sharpen it every time I use it. And again, if you want to wear something reddish but wearable, NARS Dolce Vita and this formula of Velvet Matte Lip Pencils, it's amazing. And this, I, this was a, a sort of like a repurchase. This was my favorite color of the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, liquid lipsticks. But then uh, I finished it and a friend of mine, she purchased it and she told me that she wasn't going to use it because it was too pale so she gave it to me and I was so glad to have it back and then I never reached for it this is one that I need to finish this year so that's it for the 30 products that I chose you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that you're excited to see project pants for me let me know below if you're doing any project pants and if you love the plan to pan products that I chose. Remember that I always give a question in the comment section below so that we can chat about makeup. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. I love you and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.